Walmart just announced joining the whole ghost kitchen craze. Now, is this a smart move or is this a bad move? Make sure you guys keep watching to find out more and how it applies to your restaurant. Hello friends, my name is Wilson, your friend in helping you build a thriving small business and a profitable food business. Out of curiosity, how many of you guys are considering jumping onto this whole ghost kitchen trends? Let me know in the comment section below. Walmart is actually joining the cloud kitchen game, but not in the typical way that most people are thinking about. Most people are thinking about them creating their own brands and then pricing everyone out. But in reality, what they're doing is creating virtual food courts in their stores. How does that happen? Let me explain. Now, there are two types of cloud kitchen operations out there. The first type are virtual brands. How does that work? They are singular brands operating out of a cloud kitchen. So think about it as Wilson's Wings operating out of a cloud shared kitchen. And if I'm aggressive and if I'm ambitious, I would be having multiple different locations selling Wilson's Wings. The second type are the umbrella branded ghost kitchens. What does that mean? That means that these ghost kitchen operators, they would invite multiple different brands into their ghost kitchens. And as a result, they become a virtual food court that as a customer goes onto their website, they would be able to order food from these different brands like Wilson's Wings, Sally's Chicken, or Peter's Burger. So, this is the umbrella operation. And what they do is they have multiple locations for distributing the same brands. For example, Kitchen United does this and Ghost Kitchen does this as well. Walmart is partnering up with Ghost Kitchen, the umbrella type of Ghost Kitchens that allow you to house various brands under one roof. Now, what's interesting is that Ghost Kitchen brand, they hold very popular food brands that people have heard about, not the random ones that no one knows about. For example, Quiznos, Cheesecake Factory, Lola's, Ben's and Jerry's, definitely not the no-name brands like Sally's Burger. Now, when it comes to the operation side, they offer in-store kiosks that allows shoppers to come and order their food and then shop around Walmart and then come and pick up their food and go. Or they can order online and come and pick up and go. Or even they can order online and get it delivered through third-party apps like DoorDash, Uber Eats, or Skip the Dishes. So why is Walmart doing this? It is because they wanna add more value to their customers, whether their customers that are shopping inside the mall, or customers who are opting in for pickup, or even for delivery, they wanna add more value to their customers. Just imagine this, you can do all your shopping for your groceries, and at the same time, being able to order restaurant quality food all in one place. That's the type of value that Walmart wants to improve for your experience. Sam Hammond, Senior Director of Licensees at Walmart Canada said, the purpose of the company's licensed partner program is to round out a one-stop shop for customers giving them the ability to accomplish what they need to do all within one place. So after all is said and done, what does it mean for you? It means that Cloud Kitchen, ghost kitchens, food delivery is not a hype and it is here to stay. The big brands are all investing and moving into this arena. Burger King, Wendy's, Red Robins, Shake Shack, celebrities like Mr. Beast, Tyga, and Guy Fieri, just to name a few. And it's only gonna get even more crowded. In fact, Ghost Kitchen Brands president, Mark Choi, said this about their partnership with Walmart. Our goal is to open up a ghost kitchen every 12 kilometers across Canada. We want to be able to reach every Canadian in every urban market within 30 minutes, 24 seven. So if you're a restaurant owner and if you do not embrace in delivery, then you are gonna be missing out a lot. Walmart doesn't simply invest in locations or partnerships. They spend millions of dollars spending on research and development to make sure that their investment is gonna pay off in the next five, 10, even 20 years. So this partnership really indicates the future of what food industry will look like. It means that food delivery is here to stay. 
Now, if you are a ghost kitchen operator, then great job because you're in the right vertical. What can you do now? That means you should focus on building a brand, a brand of quality and continue doing what you're doing. So then that way, ghost kitchens, these umbrella brands will actually invite you into their suite of offerings to distribute amongst many different locations in the future. And if you're thinking about building a food business, then definitely consider having a virtual kitchen or starting on Instagram first because this is the lowest risk of getting into the industry. So if you want to learn more about how you can build the right type of business and to leverage these online trends, then I invite you into our free masterclass. This is an hour of free training in the link below. So then that way you have all the basics. You know how to validate your idea. So then that way you are well positioned into the new world today. So there you go, friends. The moves that these institutions, these big brands are doing, we should pay close attention because it shows us a glimpse into the future. And if we pay close attention, we would know what is coming up down the pipeline for us. And this is exactly what I'm sharing with you guys. So make sure you guys stay tuned, subscribe along the journey so then that way I can share more tips, more trends, and what is going on in the restaurant industry in the next few years with you. Really hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you guys in the next video.